Hey guys, Tom here with another weekly Stone Hearth update. The big news this week is that we have finally released Alpha 6, the next major release to the game. It has a lot of improvements to things like the building system and to sort of the RPG class progression system we've added. So if you'd like to check it out, you can support Stone Hearth by buying our alpha at stonehearth.net. Uh, when you buy the alpha, you'll get free updates all the way through the game's final release. If you guys use Steam, when you purchase the game, we'll send you a Steam key so you can install and play the game that way. It's up to you. Uh, either way, we'd be happy to have your support, so please check it out. Mm, mining is what I want to get to this week. I'm very excited to show you guys this because Albert, who is working on this feature, is doing like incredible work. Um, and it's super cool. I'm loving it. Let's, let's get to it. Uh, so I brought up the mining UI. Caravan, you can just go away. Um, and this is the mining tool. Uh, you've seen sort of mining in action, but you've never seen the GUI. This is first work at the GUI. So we sort of cut the world up into slices, and you can mine in any slice. And so let me just do that so I can hit the button, and they'll start mining. And you've seen this before. Here they go. They got their chisels. They're mining away into the earth. Now the trick, of course, is how do I visualize sort of my internal mines? And we've got several different ways for you to do that. And the controls are down here. And we're still experimenting with this. All of this is a work in progress. Uh, this is just a snapshot of what we got going. Um, so let me show you the first one. The first is what we call slice mode. And that does exactly what it sounds like. It slices sort of the top of the world off. And I can control the depth. Like right now, I'm 25 meters above sea level, whatever. If I go down, you know, I'm sort of going into uh, subsequent layers of depth. I can go up, um, up, 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 right? So I can get at any particular layer. And this is sort of the view that we've designed to make it easy to edit. So you can sort of think of uh, this mode as like you're just sort of drawing your mind on graph paper. Uh, and this is a very traditional sort of mining interface for these kinds of games. Let me speed things up so we don't have to like sort of sit around and watch them, right? So um, you can see we have your mining zone designation sort of visualized with this little ghostly widget. And I can click on that and get uh, some management options for the mine. So I can suspend mining if I want my guys to like go do something else. Um, let's have them resume. I can remove this mining zone entirely uh, if I decide it's not what I want. Eventually there will be ways to fill in mines and things like that. Uh, let's bring this back up. Right, so there they go. Um, and there's a lot of actually interesting details as to how the mining code works. It's, it's, it's easier to show you if I use the other tool, which is dig down and try to dig out like a downward sort of quarry pit or something. Let's sort of do something like that. Right, so um, you'll notice that they tend to mine in individual layers. Right, so they're not going to like go down for um, before they go across, um, and that's for good reason. Uh, it there's a lot of uh, I guess smartness baked into their AI. Like, look, you see, they're making this sort of stair step pattern. That is so they can get out, right? So they tend to uh, not paint themselves into corners as they're building mines. Now, eventually, when they have uh, the whole thing sort of um, mined out. They're going to run out of space, and they'll, they'll, they will be stuck. But they delay that uh, for as long as they can. And you can see that, like, as they mine out, they're they're mining out some stone. And this is how you'll get stone resources for like uh, the mason and uh, other professions, which we can add to the game once we have mining. Okay, so they're stuck. They built that out, but you saw the pattern that they did. Um, so those are a lot of the details that um, we're working pretty hard on to make sure that we get right. Um, it's sort of like you're you're building this feature and then you notice like, oh, wouldn't it be great if, and then you have to go and do that. Um, and then uh, to get these guys out, it's a simple task. I just build a ladder. Uh, let's see. There we go. And I'm sort of running all this at 2x speed, right? And now my, uh, my workers will go take that stone, put it in a stockpile, right? So mining, of course, as you would expect, works organically with all of our other features, which is great. So let's go ahead Actually, this is kind of tough to see, so let me wait for the night to be finished to sort of fast forward the game, and then we can resume this once uh, once it's morning time. Okay, it's morning, and my mine has progressed a little bit further. 
Um, I can show you. Sort of, I've specified this other room. And so that's one tool, the, the what I've called the dig out tool, um, which lets you mine in any particular layer. Um, the other tool which we have is to mine down sort of into a lower layer. So say I wanted like this to be uh, sort of my entryway which leads further down into my caverns. I can hit that button and what that does is causes them, well you saw it before when I was digging the quarry, to dig down into the next layer. So if I use my slice visualization and drop down one, you can see, whoa, yeah, we've got bugs, um, right? So lots of work to be done. So there, they've dug down. And now if I like sort of go between the layers, you can see that they are. Um, and if I go down, I can now start to mine out, you know, sort of the second layer of my underground cavern. Oops, wrong tool. So one thing we're trying to do is we're trying to unify these tools. Um, and I think we can do it smartly so that there'll just be one tool and depending on where you click uh, we'll either dig down or dig out. So here they go. I can sort of define the second layer of my mine any way I want. Just dragging out rectangles. Now you're probably thinking that this whole switching between uh, Z levels Z levels uh, is uh, a little bit inconvenient and you would be right we really view this as kind of an editing view you can see here's the quarry I dug out before if you really want to sort of get a sense of what you've built um, and uh, not actively edit uh, then we have a different visualization for you so let me just pop this off real fast and you can see sort of what we got so we have like a hole here um, which is the introduction to my mine uh, and then if I go into slice mode up and down, right? That's neat. Let me show you the other mode, which is what we're calling X-ray mode, for lack of a better term. All right, so if I do that, then, okay, this mode needs a lot of work graphically, but what it is, is uh, sort of an overview of my mine. We've taken away all of the rock, uh, I guess that's not part of the mine, and shown you, we show you like a 3D sort of view of the whole mine, right? Um, and you can see lots of graphical improvements we need to make, like, uh, of course, not show all of the above ground trees and stuff. Uh, you know, only show people when they're in the mine, turn off the sky, right? Work in progress, guys, and these are the reasons why mining, as much as we want to give it to you, is not available yet. Um, it'll probably be in the next alpha, but we still have work to do. Um, but in this mode, there are, uh, I guess, two different sub modes that we have. You can, and you can, I can either show all of the walls, or I can flatten the walls and show just the floor plans. And just to give you a different perspective, here's a more complete mine that I've just sort of hashed out, showing you all the different modes. So this is the x-ray mode, where you can really get a good sense of the overall 3D structure of your internal structure. Uh, you can see, of course, we've got the little guys floating in midair. We'll fix that. Uh, and I can take down the walls, which gives me a better sense of the floor plan obscures less of the mine. So that's x-ray mode, walls up, walls down. And then here's slice mode as I'm going up and down through the individual layers of my mine. Right, so here's one layer, uh, the top layer. I guess this is floor one, floor two, uh, floor three, right? So in a nutshell, that is mining, or at least the start of mining things to be added or of course fixing these visualizations to really make them shine and pop and then uh, adding internal structure to the world you can see that right now everything's kind of like dirt right so we'll have uh, layers of rock mineral veins or uh, open caverns things to discover uh, we really want mining to be sort of the part of the game where you can do a little bit of exploration because it's a city focused game you're not going to be roaming across the wild countryside, but you can explore downward beneath your town and sort of see what's beneath it and have fun stuff to find there. Uh, that's it for this week. As always, thanks for watching, and uh, check us out at stoneheart.net if you'd like to learn more. See you next week. Bye!